My point is that comparing Wreck-It Ralph to Roger Rabbit is doing the movie a disservice. It may look similar on the surface, but it is a totally different situation here. Because, back in 1988, when you went into that movie theater and you saw Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck standing next to Donald and Mickey, you knew that it had taken an insane amount of courting and negotiations to get them all in the same picture. And you knew it would probably not happen again anytime soon. But with video game characters, it's actually the opposite situation. They put out for anybody, literally. One could even argue that appearing out of context in another character's game is an essential part of any successful game character's franchise these days. Which, when you think about it, puts the whole theme of transgression in Wreck-It Ralph into a totally different light. Oh, you're, you're done. Alright. I'm sorry, I zoned out the moment you started talking about the 80s. Yeah, well, f you too. You're welcome. And now here's Kip with the meme report.